Let's talk about three common types of molecules. Alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. What are these things? Well, the alkanes are pretty simple. They are molecules that are just made of two elements. We have carbon and hydrogen. So the simplest alkane we can make is a carbon bonded to four hydrogen atoms. That gives you methane. Meth basically meaning one, and ane is the ending for all of the alkanes. Methane. This is what comes out of your stove when you're cooking. This is natural gas. What if we add another carbon and we complete this molecule with more hydrogens? Well, we've got two carbons now, and so that would be eth is the uh, root of that word and the ending again ane. So this is ethane. Ethane. Let's add one more carbon. Now we've got three carbons and how many hydrogens do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you were to write down the molecular formula for this, it would be C3H8. And if you have three carbons, then the start of the, the word for this molecule is prop. So we have propane. This is what you would use when you're cooking in your barbecue. You can see that a lot of alkanes are used for fuels. For example, we add one more uh, carbon, then we have four total carbons, and the uh, way to name this is but for the four carbons, and then ane because it only has uh, hydrogens bonded around this. So this is butane. You might be familiar with a butane lighter. Let's uh, make another fun alkane. I'm just going to extend this carbon chain out to eight. So we have eight uh, carbons now. What would that be called? Eight is often oct. So now we have formed, when I finish off all the hydrogens, Octane. And this is one of the most important molecules in gasoline. So this is what would fuel your car. Octane. Plus a mixture of other things. What's interesting to notice about these uh, alkanes is that because they're all single bonds, I missed one. Because they are all single bonds, there's a lot of rotation which is possible. So these molecules are really quite flexible and they'd be jiggling around and moving all around in these different configurations. In fact, one of my favorite uh, molecules to make is uh, hexane. So right now we have hexane for one, two, three, four, five, six carbon atoms. And you can actually form this around into a loop to make a, a ring of carbons containing six carbon atoms. Let's see if I can do that. Perfect, and this is now called cyclohexane. Cyclo because it makes a little cyclic ring, and hexane because there are one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. That is cyclohexane. So those are the alkanes, simply made of a carbon and hydrogen. What about alkenes? Alkenes contain a double bond. So let's say we take two of these carbons and instead of just single bonding them so they can rotate, we double bond them. Again, you remember that means that each carbon is actually sharing two outer electrons with the other, so that fills two bonding sites on each of the carbon. Um, so if I use, if I double bond the carbons, now we only have C2H4, we can fit fewer hydrogens around these carbons because they're double bonded to each other. And this is called ethene. Eth for the two carbons and the ending ene because there is this double bond. Uh, we could make propene by adding another carbon. So we use the word for three, prop, and we add ene, propene. Again, we could make butene, uh, but instead, why don't we make propine. So if we want to add uh, a triple bond in here, so now we have these carbons forming a triple bond with each other. This is what we call an alkyne. Again, fewer hydrogens are possible to bond on here because 
uh, we have triple bonded the carbons together. So this would be propyne. What about that? What would that be called? That, because of the triple bond and the two carbons, would be called ethyne. That is a brief introduction to alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. Three different kinds of molecules you could form.